All right. All right, once again, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Kadash. Double honors be unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. To all the Akims worldwide, hold for Lilek 144. I want to say Shalom be unto you. This is the word from the GMSRA.com. Just bring out a quick edification to the spirit of the Musa, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai. My edification today is entitled. Some two thirds will never believe. Yeah. And it goes back to um men of Great Millstone and even other camps who may not be pushing this truth. Um no matter we may be in the highways and the byways preaching, and no matter what we say, some two thirds will just never believe. Now these are ancient spirits. These are spirits of people who are just destined to be destroyed. These were the same people who were back then in ancient Egypt and Israel in, in, in the wilderness with Moses. These are the same people back here today. Some of them will never believe. So I just want to bring out some scriptures um, basically to back up what I'm saying. So I'll start with John chapter 11 and verse 39 to 46. And this is a account of Lazarus. So I just want to start from here to get to my main topic, my main point. And Yahushai said, Take ye away the stone, Martha, the sister of him that was dead. Said unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he had been dead four days. Yeah, because Lazarus, um, when he had died, and you know, Yahushai had come to prove um, the works of the Mosiah Hawa, Masha Yahushai. So Lazarus more or less was dead within the grave for four days. But Yahushai had came and previously, previously saying that he, he is going to raise Lazarus up just to, to, to show the people and them that the Mosiah Yahawa, Shem Yahushai's power, and he had sent him. So Yahushua said unto her, Said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, that thou shouldst see the glory of Yahweh? Then he took away the stone from the place where the dead had laid, and Yahushua lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me, and I knew that thou heardest me always. And because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot, with grave clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. And which I said unto them, Loose him, and let him go. Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Yahushai did believed on him. But some of them went their ways to the Pharisees and told them what things Yahushai had done. Now you see these people, some of them, after seeing such a miracle, they still ran to the Pharisees to tell the Pharisees what was going on. These people are the two thirds. These people are people that will never get this truth. They will never get it. These people are destined to be destroyed. These are the same people. Um, let's jump back to Numbers chapter 14 and verse 11. Numbers chapter 14 verse 11. And the Lord, the Hav Hashem Shai, said unto Moses, how long would this people provoke me? And how long would it be that they believe me? They, how long would it be uh, they believe me for all the signs which I have sued among them? Yeah, because Moses worked numerous miracles in the wilderness. And these people and them still wasn't getting it. They saw things that our time today... We pray to see. 
we could never see. And these people actually witness and bear it, and these people were still unbelieving. Yahweh Shai came and raised a dead in his time, and these people still didn't believe. These people are destined to be destroyed. These people will never get it. They will pass at us on the roads and they will scoff at us. They will talk, we will preach, they will... You know, you, you probably have a family member just like that. These people will never get it. Because this truth is not for these people. These people are destined to turn. They are destined to be destroyed. So you don't waste your time on these people. Don't bother to go in the LCT, as Apostle Tahada say. It's the outer LCT. Um, Hebrew chapter 4 and verse 2. It said, I'll start at verse 1. Let us therefore fear, that a promise being left us of entering into rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But the word preaching did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. For we which have believed do enter into rest, as he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, that they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the will. And that's what we labor into, labor into do to enter into this into rest. But no matter what, there are some people, they just would not believe. They will pass by, hear the gospel, and go upon a merry way. Because these people are ancient, ancient people who never and will never, ever, ever get it. But I will tell you when they will get it, though. Um, so Second Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 3 to 4. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. So even though they don't get it, it's hid because they are lost. They are destined to be destroyed. So that the most high Hashem and Shem and Shem will be glorified. Verse 4. In whom the God power of this will had blinded the minds of them which believed in us, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Masha, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them. They will never get the most high Hashem and Shem and Shem and name have to be glorified. And through the destruction of these people, his name will be glorified. And uh, we could go back to John, um, John chapter 9, verse 39 to 41. It said, And Yahweh said, For judgment I am come into this will, that they which see not, see not might see, and they which see might be blind, might be made blind. And some of the Pharisees which were with him heard these words and said unto him, Are we, also, are we blind also? Yahweh Shai said unto them, If ye were blind, ye would have not sinned. But now ye say we see, therefore your sins remain. And yeah, that goes back to some of the church goers. They all believe they see everything. They all believe they're right and that's pride, they're proud. That, that they believe that that's the truth. And that what we're speaking is lies. But you guys are proud. But no matter, nevertheless, you stay proud. Because as I say, you're proud for a reason. And you're lost for a reason. So the most I have, Hashem, Hashem, name can be glorified. And its works can be magnified. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 8. I said, and these to you two thirds. These for you unbelievers. Give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yerushai, Bashem, Kwadash. So he can be glorified because of your unbelief. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and adulterers and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death. Yahweh Bashem Yerushai. You people are going to be destroyed. Thus said the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yerushai. 
you believers, unbelievers would be destroyed. You two tears will be destroyed. So the Musa and Hawash and Meshaneev can be glorified. Yeah? So with that, I want to say Shalom. I want to give all praises to Hawash and Meshaneev. Yeah?